From Lawrence and Lowell to Westwood and Wellesley, the children of our community have been touched by his individual acts of kindness and by his grand gestures of philanthropy. And with a heart as powerful as his bat, those charitable efforts have also profoundly impacted his beloved and native land, the Dominican Republic. Twelve years ago, we saw one of our first glimpses of his heart when he immediately responded to floods that destroyed the town of Himani in the Dominican Republic on May 24th of 2004. He simply placed a shoebox in the Red Sox clubhouse to accept contributions from his teammates. They responded, as did fans at Fenway, as did corporate sponsors. And when contributions quickly reached $100,000, Red Sox ownership on June 28th of 2004 matched the total, sending $200,000 to the Red Cross. And the United Nations Development Program began the rebuilding of the town and its 900 homes. Just a few weeks later, in that summer of 2004, the Red Sox and philanthropist Charlene Engelhard created the Lindo Sueños program to give Boston teens a summertime experience of baseball and community service in the Dominican Republic. Our honorees supported the program and the participants traveled to his hometown of Haina in 2007 where they built a baseball field in his honor. After the dedication ceremony, he and the participants took time to visit a nearby hospital. He had visited the hospital each of the past two years. On the first visit, he realized he wanted to help the children of his home country. On the second visit, in December 2006, he met a nine-year-old girl who needed heart surgery, a procedure that no Dominican medical facility had the means to perform. And that's when our slugger hit a massive home run. He started the David Ortiz Children's Fund, and now, thanks to his philanthropic leadership, those heart surgeries are indeed performed there, and the lives of children, the lives of 563 children, have been saved to date. He then expanded his philanthropy to help children in Boston as well, and some of those very children who received that surgery, both in the Dominican and right here at Mass General Hospital, thanks to his philanthropic spirit, are the children you see on the field right now accompanied by the community-minded teens of the Lindo Sueños program. And now, our honoree would like to greet them in person. So ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome number 34, the big man with the big heart, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. And now, in recognition of your good deeds to benefit the children of America, of the United States, of Latin America, and all over the world, Foxwoods and Nesson have commissioned a work of art created for you by one of the premier artists in American history. Welcome the chairman of the Mashantucket Pequot Tribal Council, Rodney A. Butler, the vice president of brand marketing for Foxwoods Resort Casino, Paul LaRocca, Red Sox principal owner, John Henry, and the president and CEO of Nesson, Sean McGrail, as they present an original portrait of you created by the legendary Peter Max. And we are happy to tell you that 1,000 lithographs actually signed by Peter Max will be sold to benefit the David Ortiz Children's Fund. Big Poppy, we salute you and we thank you for the behind-the-scenes hugs, the private words of encouragement, and for your grand worldwide philanthropy to benefit the children of the world.
And now it is time for our ceremonial first pitch. Today, we give the honor to a teenage boy who has traveled here from Santo Domingo in his native Dominican Republic to say thank you for the life-saving heart surgery that he received thanks to the David Ortiz Children's Fund. Please join us in welcoming 15-year-old Joaquin Maldonado Mendoza. And escorting Joaquin is a most special guest. His late father may have been the most beloved humanitarian in the history of Latin American baseball. And David, you received baseball's highest honor, the award named in his father's memory to pay tribute to your humanitarian spirit. Here to honor you, won't you please welcome Mr. Roberto Clemente Jr. Okay, Joaquin, let's see your pitch. <laughs> 